right, springtime, time to make some planners. So uh, here we just have uh, two uh, matching blueberry planners. Uh, really straightforward build. Um, all materials you can get at your local home center. Um, some pre-treated wood, some corrugated uh, metal, and uh, pretty easy. What don't you say, buddy? Yes. Yeah, did you help me make it? Yeah. So great project to do with the kids. You don't need a lot of fancy schmancy tools. I uh, can knock these out pretty quick. So anyway, check it out. All right, so uh, starting off by just uh, cutting your wood to size. So I'm using pre-treated wood that I just got at Home Depot. Um, definitely for outdoor builds, I always like using pre-treated stuff. Uh, most everything, uh, the construction in this project is pocket holes. So uh, here's my handy helper helping uh, drill out those holes um, using the Craig jig. Uh, great tool to have, a lot of great DIY projects. Um, here I am uh, using clamps. So you don't have to have um, these pipe clamps. Uh, but clamps definitely help with pocket holes, especially if you're just using uh, just using the screws, which which hold up uh, rather nicely. Uh, just gives that nice tight pressure uh, to get the screw right right where you need it. So, I would definitely recommend using clamps uh, for for any 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 project with pocket holes. Uh, but especially in these outdoor projects uh, that you know you're going to get some moisture, you're going to get some wood movement in them. Uh, I want to try and start off with as tight a hold as you can. Um, also recommend using the, the blue uh, exterior uh, screws. Uh, those work great. All right, so this is the corrugated uh, metal. Just cutting it to size. I'm just using aviation snips here. This is actually two sheets at the same time. Um, so those actually work uh, pretty quick. Um, to actually attach it, uh, I'm just using uh, 18 gauge brad nails. So using a brad nailer here. Uh, if you don't have a nail gun, I highly recommend it. They're amazing for so many projects, especially for outdoor projects. Um, and actually, uh, Ryobi makes um, uh, the airstrike variety. You don't even need an air compressor, although air compressors are great. So if you don't have one, I definitely recommend uh, getting a nail gun, but it just goes in just, just like that. Um, there's other ways to fasten it, screws and such, but this worked for me. Um, here, I'm just ripping down some scrap two by fours on the table saw. You don't have to have a table saw for this project. You can do the whole thing with just a circular saw. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this is just to get kind of the, the bottom shelf uh, for the, the piece itself for the planner. Um, again, using some pocket holes to attach it. Lots of ways to do this. Um, really, you just need some scrap wood or you can buy some, you know, one by fours, uh, already, you know, have it cut at your home center. But you just put this on the bottom for something uh, for the dirt to rest on because you don't want the planter to sit on the ground itself uh, because you don't want it to rot. You want it to be able to drain and have that air movement. Um, but here we are again, using the clamps with the pocket holes. This doesn't have to be perfect. This doesn't have to be level here. Uh, you just need a basically, you just need a shelf. And this is just, you know, some cedar pickets. Just throwing that in there. And then some weed block. Um, so the water's gonna be able to get through, it'll drain, uh, but this is gonna keep the dirt from going everywhere. It's not really being held in place by these uh, brad nails. It's just to kind of get it there before I threw the dirt in. Um, and here, using some more of the, that nice pre-treated wood, uh, just for a little top cap. So um, using some miters, you can do this on a circular saw as well. Um, and then just kind of putting in place. Lots of ways that you can join this together. I just went with the, uh, the nail gun again and nice little top cap kind of completes the whole project, gives it that good look. So it's a pretty easy build. Um, it's really not uh, that involved tool wise, uh, but it really classes it up and really happy with how it turned out. So make one, they're awesome.